Are you looking to sell your property without all the usual headaches associated with traditional property sales? Maybe you're looking for a straightforward, hassle-free, quick sale. We've got you covered at G67 Home Buyers. Ditch the stress of endless viewings, the waiting game with property chains, and the buyers missing deadlines. No matter the condition or location of your property, we are ready to buy. And guess what? We'll give you an instant cash offer, no traditional hoops to jump through. We get it. Sometimes you just need to sell fast and we're here to make that happen. We'll often be able to buy in just a few days. You no longer need to worry about the sale falling through after weeks or months. We have buyers ready now. We handle everything for you, even paying your legal fees, and there is no hidden fees or estate agent commissions to pay. Just a smooth, easy sale with us by your side, helping you every step of the way. I am David Smith, and I will personally help you find a hassle-free solution to selling your property fast, beginning with a free, no obligation cash offer for your property. Remember, I am here to help, so get in touch in the link below and let's chat. Welcome back to another enthralling instalment of Social Sessions. We have the immense pleasure of being joined by a true titan of the footballing world. He's left an indelible mark on the pitches of Celtic and West Ham, enchanting fans with his skill, tenacity and unwavering passion for the game. But beyond his exploits on the field, his larger-than-life character, whose presence transcended the sport. Ladies and gentlemen, it is with great honour that I introduce you to the one and only Frank McAvenny. From his electrifying performances in the iconic green and white of Celtic to his unforgettable tenure donning the claret and blue of West Ham, Frank has etched his name into the walls of footballing history, and let's not forget his larger-than-life persona off the pitch, where he's become synonymous with charm, wit and charisma. So buckle up and get ready for a journey through the highs, the lows and the unforgettable moments that have defined the remarkable life of Frank McAvenny. So welcome to Social Sessions, Frank. Absolute Cheers. honour to have you here, man. Um, so what I'm going to do is just kind of take you back uh, to your history. I kind of do that with everybody. So where was it you grew up? Was Glasgow? Into, was it Milton. Milton? Milton and Glasgow, yeah. What was that like? It was good. It was good. It was, uh, it was one of the places the neighbours looked after each other. It was, right. uh, you know, I got brought up well. My mum could go to work and... The neighbours would look after me, Aye. and uh, it was good. I wouldn't, I wouldn't trust them now. <laughs> no, it's, well, we were actually speaking, I've got a lot of friends from Melbourne, do you know what I mean? We were talking about how it's just a kind of, it's, it's like a wasteland in it. It's like a way out in the middle of nowhere, no. it's just different for you. Well, there's only two ways in, so when the police, you know, one end of uh, Colson and the other end was uh, from down by St Augustine's at the uh, Glen Douglas Aye. used to be. So everyone, the jungle drums were in every time the police come in, so it was uh, it was good. You know? <laughs> everybody knew the police were coming in, so it was pretty good. <laughs> so what age was it you kind of found out, obviously, like you, were, you had that kind of talent for I football didn't, and all that? I didn't know. I played football for the primary school. Um, and we won two trophies. I think it's only two trophies they won, but I played with my brother's team. It was two years older than me, because he was hopeless. Okay. He was hopeless, so um, I played in his team, and... And then I didn't play it in secondary school. I didn't play it because I used to go and watch Celtic all the time. Every was like a proper supporter, and and everyone played in the same day then. Sure, and everyone played Saturdays. Aye. So uh, I didn't play it, and it was only when the Celtic game got cancelled when I was nearly nineteen. What's that? It's Aye, late, is that? I was nearly nineteen, and uh, I'm walking through Glasgow, and some of my mates from Mount were shouting at us, you know, Aye. coming to have a game, and I couldn't be bored, and. Uh, the manager offered me a couple of beers Aye. if I come and play. <laughs> she said a couple of players hadn't turned up for them, Aye. so they were short of players. And I said, yeah, right. And that's what happened. There was five scouts watching the boy I was playing against. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know what happened to him, but I don't know right at it. <laughs> Aye, fucking right. <clears throat> so was it like, oh, so were you just kind of playing in football on the streets? Not right, playing, I used to play, doing a, there's a place in Glasgow, or in Mountain called the Deaf and Dumb School, we used to call Aye. it, I don't know where it's, but it was a gravel pitch, you never get rolled. Aye. But they, and they used to get like 15 a side and all that, you Aye. know, and used to play there all the time. Everyone wanted to play football. Aye. And uh, so it was great. And you know what the older boys are like, if you don't control that ball, they're going to come through you. Of course. So that's where I learned how to play football, really. That's you like know, football, man. It's ah, it's a big, it's all bumpy, and if you didn't control it, you were in... You're trouble. So, yeah, because people couldn't believe it, because my touch was great, and that's Aye. where it was from. Was so did you know about you were like, it's no, good? No, no. no. No, no chance. It's, it's mad, isn't it? Nah, it's crazy. I went to, when I, I signed for St Murm, one of the teams I signed for St Murm mm -hmm. after that, and I went, I, I thought, well, I'm, I'm late coming into this, and uh, I thought, I'm going to have to go full time. Aye. I was working. <laughs> I was working on the roads, 
And I used to do the roads. I used to tar of potholes and all that Aye. fucking shit. You know that day, lazy suds. I know that day. I saw the fucking do, do fucking holes. I just drove fucking in the field. My missus roads in there, you know. Unbelievable. <laughs> anyway, so I yeah, uh, I used to walk and I thought. So I, I said, look, I've got to do this. I've, if I'm going to have a go, I've got to go full time. Aye. So Tony Fitzpatrick was the captain of St Merlin and, and he for Postal. And, he, and the manager couldn't give me any more. I was only on 50 quid a week or something. Aye. But I thought I've really got to catch up. And so mm-hmm. I went full time for 50 quid a week and uh, Tony picked me up and dropped me off training. So I Aye. cut back on that. And I sacrificed it to, I was only in... Eight months and when I was in the first team. Aye, brilliant so, man. Was, I mean, it's some story. It was only because it was only because a couple of boys were injured. And I played in midfield at the time. Right, yeah. Aye. And there was a couple of boys injured, and they played me against, made my debut against Airdrie, and I scored two, and um, that was it. That put him up front. No, I, was, <laughs> I played four years in midfield. Did you? Some aye. I played for some months, four years, and then I, my last year I played up front. Aye. And it was just because I wanted the headlines because I was getting money a match. Aye. It was a wee bit at the bottom, man of match. <laughs> and my big pal, God rest him, Frank McDougall, he was he was doing nothing in the game, but he scored. And he'd get the headlines, and I thought, fuck, I want that. Aye. I want the headlines. He's that. Aye. Everybody so, knew who he was, nobody knew who I was. Aye. I thought, nah, it's, that's going to change soon. <laughs> so where did you go after that, Frank? Obviously, St Martin. And then when was your next move? It was, it was, uh, West Ham. West Ham. Mm-hmm. And obviously, they love you doing there. Like you're a legend doing there, do you know what I mean? And how did that come about then? I was going to I was going to Luton and I went didn't sign for Luton and um and the chairman walked in and talked about luck. The chairman walked in, slapped me and said, Welcome to Luton, Macca. And I, I I was going to put a heed in him. I thought, You fucker, you <laughs> it, it was a bit it was sore, it wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> and I think it was Maggie Thatcher's pal or something, so Even um, worse. I had a fucking nut him for that. But uh, <laughs> I it was just one of them. I just looked at my agent and and he knew that Aye. I wasn't going to sign. But St Murn says, look, they gave them first refusal and they paid all the flights and all that for the directors and all that. Aye. So St Murn, being St Murn, were saying, look, you can't say nothing because they'll charge us for the flights. <laughs> <laughs> That's <laughs> fucking <laughs> cost us a week's wages. Fucking brilliant. So I had to go and meet John Lyle. And Ed, when I when I get told I wasn't, when I said I wasn't saying for Luton, the manager says, Wes Ham's interested. And I says, what the fuck did that happen? Aye. And he says, if I'd have signed for Luton, I wouldn't have known about West Ham. No. So... I went and met John Lyon. As soon as you meet the big guy, he was he was brilliant, Aye. absolute football genius. You know, he Aye. was great. And obviously, the story kind of writes itself after that fight. And you go to, and obviously, it's some partnership with Tony Cotty. Yes, he uh, adores you. Do you know what I mean? He Aye. still says he's the best player that you're, you're Aye. the best player he's ever played with. How was that playing with him? Because great, because it was honestly we thought we, we thought we were in, unstoppable. What was it? Well, he was wearing, he's wearing me as well. I was a big uh, guy, so <laughs> you're so, the tall guy. I was a tall guy, but I didn't like all that. I didn't mind all that uh, physical stuff. Aye. Tony, couldn't, he's like, no. Tony just wants to score goals. Aye. You know, and if I'm going through and goal, and the keeper comes out, I'll pass it to Tony. If he goes through. I, I don't bother about it. I'll just go and try and get the rebound if, he, if the keeper aye, saves aye. or something. Because he's not passing aye. it. He's an out and out striker, so that's what he was, and it was. Uh, and I didn't mind that. So was that just one of the partnerships that kind of just. I don't know, because it worked with Andy, Andy Walker when I come up to Celtic, Aye. it was all right, and Andy, you know, Andy was the same, I'd done his running for him, um, Tony didn't, when I went to West Ham, Tony was a lazy little, so he didn't want to move, Aye. Um, so we had to, we, we lost three games or something, then we had a meeting with the players, and a few home truths were told, you know, and it was just the players, nice staff, mm. and Tony got picked on, you know, he's just wanted to score goals. He's got to close down all that. Mm-hmm. So all that high press that they're doing now, we fucking done that way back in the age. Just didn't call it none. Aye. You know, it was just, when I went, everybody went after me and didn't let anyone ha- ha- have an easy pass out. And that's what it was. And uh, and then Tony became a hell of a player after that because he put a bit of, he started wanting for the team, thinking about the team. Mm-hmm. And, it, and it worked to get a big move to, uh, to Everton, which wasn't a bigger club, but it was one name in it. He wasn't getting a game of it. West Ham. Then they came back to West Ham the same as me, so it was. Yeah. I worked out well. Worked out well. So obviously the fans, right in West Ham, mm-hmm. absolutely adore you. Mm-hmm. What's it like going back down there, Frank? Really, like, down to it's London, brilliant. Right? It's great. I love it. I go down there and get idolised. It's, it's. I mean, listen, it's two of my dinner at night when just before Upton Park shut down, you know, and and I was in doing something and uh, and I was having a laugh. I was doing something with Russell Brand actually, fucking, and it was a. Uh, 
non-illegal. Non <laughs> <laughs> he's my Just pal. Just a I like him. I like him. Russell is my know, mate. Like, he's fucking brilliant. I, he's not going to get charged because none of them. No, I know. It's bad, I know. He's, 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 but it's one of them. So and I, I says, look, I need to go and do it. West Ham found out I was doing the TV right. with him. And they says, can you do some boxes? And, and I says, yes. So I had to get out and get under a stand to right. get to the main stand. So I says, well, I need to go now before the end of the game. And I, I thought I'd made it. Just got out. And just as I got halfway to understand the fucking fans all come out, didn't they? And then I just took one to see me and a fucking whole place erupted. It was brilliant. I mean, I was like, I was gobsmacked, but my missus was like, oh, Aye, Jesus, never, seen, yeah. never seen it. So it was incredible. I know we spoke, it's like, it's weird because obviously you, you made a lot, you go bigger than Andy McLaren, but with Andy on here and he says that he still gets that when he goes to Dundee. Aye. Aye. Um, and it must be kind of weird just mm. all the kind of Aye. years passing Aye. and going back down incredible. and obviously with your missus they must just your missus must be like Aye, it's incredible she just carries a pen now because it's a lot easier just goes like <laughs> here take it Aye, right. <laughs> so yeah. obviously West Ham right they, they, you kind of moved to Celtic after that yes obviously Celtic's your club how yeah. how was that when you, you found out they were kind of interested in you it was, there, was, there was John Lyle at West Ham knew that the only team I'd leave West Ham for was was Celtic, so it's a, it's a boyhood team, isn't it? It's, mm -hmm. You know, and it was uh, it, it was great to come to come back. And, and I mean, I got told it's a man that Celtic were interested in me, Aye. Um, but never seen me. Um, so they seen more. I think we we did this. <laughs> I know we did this. <laughs> I know. Nah, they seen me more. So that was fair enough. He's you know, a decent player. So Aye. Um, that was all right. I, I went. I, be, I went down to England, I became a better player, to be Aye. honest with you. So you get down there and it's honestly it's fucking that, like. incredible. Well, you go first day training, pre-season, you get a ball out. Aye. And I'm going, what? <laughs> you don't see a ball up here for three Aye. weeks. And uh, and John, I was going, that's the tools of your trade. It's like, you know. Why would you not have it? Why would you not? Why would you know? He says, don't worry, you're running this afternoon. <laughs> like, okay. But it was great. And he used to take the defenders away. Aye. Somebody worked to him, somebody worked to midfield, mm -hmm. and somebody worked to strikers and all that. And it was, it's all different training. I know. Everything's different. And then you come in and get a game, Aye. you know, with the boys, and it's, it's uh, sometimes you'd get strikers up to work the defence, you know, and it Aye. was all different. Everything was based on certain sections. Aye. And, and I thought, it makes a lot of sense. I know. You know, and we just up here pff, run. I know. You know especially with we, we, Lou McCarry, he just. <laughs> Every time I see cones, see all the cones, see cones <laughs> out in the street, the roadworks not half, fucking panic, it's honestly, I'm traumatised, it's going to ruin me for the rest of my life, we live with all the cones, <laughs> I don't really mind, a penny a cone, I'd have took, I'd have been a billion out of them, we lose training, but anyway, it was, it was just great training down there, it was Aye. brilliant, and, um, and it, was, it was sad because it was, you know, we really turned up there and, Nah, I know. That was no good. And then I went to Celtic and he got he got a manager, Joe Bell, so Aye. that was no fucking good either, <laughs> you know. So but it was all right. It was good it was good fun. Aye. I was I'm the only player, apparently I'm the only player that's ever played for three clubs twice. Aye, yeah, aye. Aye. So I couldn't remember. Aye. That's 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 quite, uh, aye. And quite I, a good start and finished it's a man. Played twice for Celtic, twice for West Ham. Because it's, so it's need, obviously, I would like to know if that was if it's true. They sort of say you, you can you see know. it. Obviously, just people. I know people. Some people know you, and I know you're quite a loyal person in mm. that thing. And it kind of talks in the football when you see Aye. that. A lot of players, knew, even back then, there have been players just chasing the money, and you could have done that. Do you know what I mean? There was definitely like I know I could have. Um, I could have went to Rangers and done that. They offered me a lot more money. I couldn't do it. No, I know. I couldn't do it. So I've been, but I didn't mind. Graham Sinners, you know, talking about it because I knew what he wanted to do. Aye. But I'm saying you've no chance, you know. It's, I know. I, well, I was actually going to ask you about that when Big Soon, because when I was doing a bit of research, I seen Big Soon as he'd asked Aye. and says you were going to be the guy. It's had to be me, Morris Johnson, or Charlie Nicholas. Because he says, I want you to be the first Catholic. And I'm saying, Big Haley, not a Catholic. <laughs> and he's like, he's, he, says, he says, it had to be Roman Catholics. The three Aye. of us were high profile Aye. and that's to try and change it and a lot of supporters she's every supporter that burns a flag and doesn't come back Aye. will get to it to replace them I'm glad they so didn't break it do you know what I mean I, but it's not broke. I know it's not broke. but it was it was bad at the time it was really bad at the time you Aye. know so what is it I mean obviously we, we're no privy in the way but you hear a lot like where they say like players are actually friendly with the Rangers oh, yeah, is, that, go, is that quite oh, a lot we go on trips and all that 
it's, it's good. Aye. Tell them, I coist they will go away. Aye. Aye. Andy, we go, go to Dubai. They're, they're going to oh, be a couple of days. I'm not Aye. going this year. So I'm not going. So. Aye. So it's good fun out there. It's good fun. All the ex players. What was the, the obviously the kind of bigger differences, Frank? Because obviously, like back then, you did, wasn't it the Premiership? And to know it was like first was, division, first division. So what was the kind of difference in quality? Oh, it wasn't any different quality. I thought I would, I would say the players that I played with were better than the players today. Aye. You know, when it comes to the entertaining people, when it comes to characters. There's no characters in the no. game. They, there's nothing. It's all no. robots. Everything's a I robot. It's fitness shapes. And, fitness, and, fitness, I mean, fitness. they're all athletes. Aye, that's it. I know. But the thing is. But even with big bully trainers and, and John Lennon, we we never suffered. No. You know? West Ham we we were we never played for seven weeks and we had to play Saturday, Monday and Wednesday for six or eight weeks Fuck after yeah. it. Fucking we only had fifteen players. No, no. You know, first team players with boys coming through and uh, and it was great. And you never, were never trained. Never trained. You were like a challenge. You, know, trained. you, were, like a challenge. you were like a I mean I came back I came back for Australia. Aye. And this is how much I love playing for West Ham. Come back for two for the World Cup qualifier and Aye. beat them. Come back and uh, I, I arrived Saturday morning, Heathrow Airport, 11 o'clock, phoned Aye. John Lyle at the hotel. Can I have any more bills? And I said, so I knew Aye. where they were. And uh, he says, brilliant, Frank, well done. She can qualify, no right. She says, take a couple of days off, we'll see you on Tuesday. Aye. And I says, I want to play today. <laughs> you know, get his own. He says, <laughs> what? He says, Frank, you've been travelling all right. I said, John, staying up all night is never my problem. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, all right, come and see me. So I went and seen him. And to be fair, he says, well, OK. Aye. He played me and we won 1-0 and I scored. So it was great. Happy days. I think the camaraderie and all that Aye. between the players. All we that. didn't want to lose your place because I, I took somebody's place up front. Mm -hmm. and, um, and you just, in the days it was fierce competition, so I didn't want to lose my place. Aye. And, uh, it was, uh, it was interesting, it was good. I mean, we were just scoring goals. Me and Tony were scoring goals every week. It was incredible. fun, wasn't it? Uh, 50 odd goals. It's only two. How did years? You, I mean, when I was doing the research, I seen it was only Lineker that beat you. Aye, uh, he it? took all the penalties there, so I'm uh, not no better. Right. <laughs> <laughs> I could have got Chris Packett named after me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, see, like, over your kind of whole football career, right? Obviously, you had a great career and all that, Frank. Who was, like, the, the best player that you kind of played with? Well, Douglas for me was my idol, so I played with him, but not at Celtic, but at Scotland. Playing against him at Liverpool was just, that team at Liverpool was just... Unbelievable, wasn't it? Tremendous, but I scored two, so I wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it, was, uh, it was after that, Hanson found out how quick I was. <laughs> but it was great. Um, Kenny was my idol, but Alan Devon shot at West Ham. Brilliant. He came back for a two-year injury, and, uh, and I'm thinking he's the best player I've played with, and all of a sudden... You're thinking, that's him after a two-year injury. Aye. What the fuck was he like? Before that. Before that. And then when I come up with Celtic, Paul McStay was... Aye. It was way, way ahead of his time. If he'd have been anywhere else but Celtic, he'd have been up there with Top the best. Class. Aye. He would have been up there with the best. He was just different class. He knew... For a striker, he was great. I used to come short and people say, you know what, this, nobody runs into space now. No. So I used to come short and if a, if a defender came with me, Paul just turned up his finger and I knew he was on me and he just put it in his space and I'd just turn and run Aye. and if he gave me the ball I knew that the defender was not on me because I could turn and run at him Aye. it was just simple things you know being know. basics but Paul was so good he was so and if something that's what I was saying about Celtic at the moment there's no leaders if the game wasn't going right Paul would just drive at somebody with the ball Aye. and make something happen rather Aye. than passing it across his midfield waiting for something to happen he would make something happen and that's Aye. what the difference is I've no even like the new and fit, like the football. You've got like your big player and like you look at Mbappe and you look at they're, they're good players. Do you know what I mean? But um, they're, 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 I don't know what it is. It's as if they're like big wins or something. Aye, like. Well, I like, I like she'd won it with the more. You get Ronaldo, you get Mbappe, you get. I can't kind of mention Mbappe with Ronaldo and Messi, but I like Messi because well, Messi looks as if he just fell out of bed. Aye, aye. You know, Ronaldo aye. is Ronaldo, and he's. Done, I spoke to Ferdinand and all that about him. He says he was incredible, Mark. He Aye. says he was just right for the start. He wanted to be the best player in the world. Aye. So he's in chef and we're all going, what the fuck? We're all eating fish and chips and all that. <laughs> <laughs> and he's away, he's got pasta and he's got the dishes, it's all portioned and all that kind of stuff. And, and I've done all right. The boy's got a private jet and all that, so he must have done all right. <laughs> Aye, he's done all right. But he's, that's, what it, that's what it takes. But he's no. 
I just, I'd, I'd rather go, I don't know why, I just, I would probably rather go with an eye out with Messi, you know what I mean? I know. It just looks as if he just fell out of fucking bed. Aye. And he and it looks as if he would go play, I don't know if Ronaldo will, will play, see I'm still playing with the boys, go and play football. At Root and Glen or that, and I don't know if Ronaldo would do that. I think you can see aye. Messi doing that, playing oh, with his pals, but I kind of see Ronaldo, and I was laughing because Messi's, is it Suarez, is his... Messi's his godfather, his boy. Aye, aye. And he's married to Maradona's daughter. daughter, daughter so imagine that for a Sunday lunch. <laughs> uh, why can I give him a football? <laughs> the poor boy would be like, I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's, it's. I had Graham Hunter on um, when we were aye. talking about Graham. He obviously, aye. he's quite pal with the Barcelona club and stuff. And he was talking about just how dedicated Messi was and how. Aye. Cause I remember I watched Ronaldinho for me, right? For aye, one probably. season was fucking oh. outrageous, right? And um, I asked him, I says, look, he says, and I remember watching Ronaldinho saying, like, just won the ball on door, and they were like, would it, would it feel like to be the best player in the world? Where I'm no. He says, there's a wee guy in there. <laughs> he <laughs> says, wait, you see this wee guy? And that was just a funny kind of hit, Frank. Um, right. So what was the kind of, obviously, like, uh, the, if you were to kind of look at your career, who was the, f- the craziest guy in the dressing room? And probably <laughs> apart from yourself. Apart from myself. <laughs> who, was there, who was up with you? Yeah, Gaza was good. I was in the session, but it was we we we, we, can't, we got to know each other. Feel so sorry nuts. for him, now, man. I know, but I'm glad he's still around because honestly, there was a bit of place with people like him in it. He's, I know. He's just he's so good, such a good heart. I know. You know, and it's um, it's a shame. I seen some yeah. asshole putting a video on. Um, it was obviously it was mad with guys and uh, I just I don't know why people would do that. That's you know terrible. I mean? I know he's, he's, uh, they'll claim to be a Rangers support as well, and it's. I don't know, be it'll be, it'll be somebody else, you know. It's that's what it is. That's what so, 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 I mean. I fucking can't even. I can't understand the generation today. People are getting barred in the street and they're fiddling it instead of stopping no, it. Isn't it gang it's, fights? Not after you. I've been not even gang fights. Just somebody getting robbed in the street and they're fiddling it <laughs> rather than stop it. No. And I'm thinking, generation, we fucking. I, know. Go, I, get, I get brought better than that. You know. No. I think I think there is social media has <laughs> posted a lot of. Um, mm. It's, it's gave us a, a, a different perspective. It's opened a lot of good stuff up. Ah, of course it is. There's so many bad sides to ah, it. just that. But, but they, just for likes, they would rather do that. If somebody's fucking drowning, they'd rather see, get their likes ah, and, no. and help them. Um, no, it's bizarre. It is absolutely <coughs> bizarre. Um, so, obviously, like, your, your Celtic career was kind of... Mm-hmm. Was amazing, right? But I'll take you your kind of international career because a lot of people think that you didn't get... You didn't get enough caps no. and you didn't get enough, which you should have, do you know I what I mean? Um, the way you were playing. I should have got more. What do you think of that, Frank? What's uh, your I Celtic had a lot to do with it because it's. The, 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 Tommy, was not, Tommy Burns was not happy when I, I was not getting a lot of caps when I was at Celtic. I should have got. I was top goal scorer in Europe before I got a cap. I know, it's nuts. It was, uh, I, had to, I had to get that. And Big Jock when he picked me. Aye. It's. You know, I think you thought it was fucking nuts or something like that. <laughs> <laughs> no far wrong. <laughs> but I think, and it was fair good it picked me. And then the press took me and Charlie Nicholas. And I scored a goal against Australia and, and made the goal get pulled in for a free kick. So it was that to have been an assist. So it's one of them. Two and a half. That got us throughout the World Cup. Aye. And then we they never played me. And I thought, you know, I was top goal scorer at Park for Lineker. What do you think? I mean, was it just the press took me and Charlie Nicholas away and mm-hmm. says, "This is the two boys that's going to fire us to the next stage of the World Cup." Anyone who knows anything about football, me and Charlie were meant to play with each other. Mm-hmm. You know, it was he doesn't want to run; he wants everything at feet, Aye. and I'll take it at the top, and I can take it at the feet. Just it was we were, I kind of made the job together. He, later time in our career, we were at Celtic together, and fucking what a laugh we had! You know, he, Megan, people, and all that. And I'm just <laughs> laughing and. I, I get two, he get one, and all that. It was just great for Aye. a wee spell that we were there. So. It's good. Do you kind of Fergie, Fergie says, press don't pick my team. Aye. And, uh, and that's basically what it, what it was. And so do you think, think it was just that whole, I think I'm was, no, the Aye. papers will no tell me who yeah, I'm picking? that's what it is. Aye. It's terrible. I thought it was because I was sharing a room with Graham Simmons because Kenny was there. Aye. He never went, but apparently because he never took Hanson. Aye. He fell at him, so... Which Hansen should have been there. He'd won two European Cups. You know, he was he was the best defender. I know. Especially oh, going to going to play right. against the best. But Fergie liked the partnerships. You know, ah, Hegarty right. and Miller McLeish, 
It's fair enough, but when you've got the best defender and one of the best, it's like it leaving Van, it's like world, leaving, leaving Van Dijk aye, at, aye, at aye. Holland Square. You can't do it, you know. And, and he did. So I thought it was because because soon as he'd bought Rangers in the process aye. of buying it, Fergie didn't know that at the time. Right. Because he wanted the Rangers job. Right. And I'm thinking, it, I wonder There's a lot of politics in the background oh, here. As he, soon as told me that uh, Fergie was going to drop him one of the games. Fuck's sake. He told me in the room, and I was going, he can't drop you. Aye. I said, you're the only superstar we've got. Aye. Now he put, the one game you want Graham soon as it was against Uruguay. Aye. And they never played hard, him. And leave, he left him. And he put Paul in. Now, Paul McStay was, he wasn't ready for that. Mm -hmm. You know, he wasn't ready for that. He went on to become one of the best Berlin soon as we like. But at that time, mm -hmm. if soon as was on the park, they got a man sent off in the first minute. I know. There's no way we wouldn't have went through if Sinus was in the park. Aye. Because he controlled he controlled everything. Aye. He was great with me, shouting at me, talking to me, he was talking to every talks to everyone. He's that's what he does. Aye, aye. And it was I'm um, no way the way it happened would have would we have not qualified. You know? It it's, could have been it could have been so much more, you know. No, and it's it's regret. I mean yeah. that's what I was gonna actually just say to you, like, is there is there any is that any kind of regret in your kind no, of like the football that's, model? That's, that, no getting the game, scoring all the goals and no getting no getting the recognition of Fergie basically. Mm -hmm. uh, for that. May have been, you know. So I'm at, to be fair, I got him back when he went to Man United I fucking kept scoring against him. So <laughs> that was brilliant. First game up. He's no he's no like Frank. First game up at Old Trafford, I scored two and I was like, get it get right up, up you. Yeah. <laughs> it's no, but he's no well liked in the in the way that um he is like I think if you if you like him and you suck okay, up his ass. He like, is what he was on that and that he couldn't he aye. it would need to change. But no much. Fergie, I know much Fergie, he wouldn't change that much. You aye. know, I see that. Like, if you couldn't handle somebody shouting at you, don't go to Man United. Aye. You know, that's Fergie's Fergie, and he wouldn't change that. Aye. He'll tell you what it is. Aye. You know, and it's... Um, I suppose in one way you need to respect it, didn't you? But then on the other hand, mm -hmm. it's... You need to... Okay, you, you can't hate to listen. We're always changing, but you, I'm, I'm not against that. If somebody's... If you're doing wrong, you've got to get told. Aye. You know, and don't fucking crawl into yourself Aye, and go and fucking... Talk to your parents, fucking do me a favour, just grow a set and just take it. And get, if a guy for shouting at you, shouting at you for a reason, Aye. you know, and it's a nine out of ten you, it's because you're not playing well. And then you Aye. can't, just, it's not his fault, it's yours. Aye. So, so see the landscape now, in the football and all that, Frank. Mm -hmm. What's your take on it now? Do you think they're molly cuddled? No, I think they're too, they're too, too much money, too much. Oh, fucking terrible. Terrible money they're getting nowadays. I mean, Alistair, I, I would love to get it myself. No, of course. Um, and you talk about the Saudi people going in. Uh, well, we if think, mate, a million I, pound. It's one of them, isn't it? The, the fortunes. I, but I would be honest, you know, like Henderson went out there, I'm going out to change the culture. A lot of shite. It's a very <laughs> effort money. <laughs> I know, I'm just here, I'm going for the money. Uh, I, I'd be like, <laughs> not, nothing more. Uh, you know, uh, I'd stay in Bahrain so you can get a drink. <laughs> 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 you know, so that was, that's it. I know. And that's what I did. I was Stevie Jenner stays in Bahrain. Aye. And he, he drives 20 minutes to train, so... Aye. And, uh, I don't like him. the way they're coming in. I, don't, I, I mean, I, it's, Look, it's just money, it's money, it's money, money. It brings money, but... And it ruins, it always comes to the ruins it, Frank. boy Henry, Jack Henry, he's, he's here getting over 100 grand a week. I know, it's nuts. Yeah, I'm like, ah, fuck it. I know. Fair play, I mean... I used to say he couldn't trap a medicine bond a phone box, but... <laughs> 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 but Jack, you know, he couldn't get a game of Celtic, and he's a... I know. Fair, fair enough, he's a good player, but... I'd, if I was his agent, I'd be like, you've won a watch, son. Oh, On you go. I, I mean, he's... But he's only about fucking 700 people I watching him. Joe, I know. I like, couldn't get, get, get a game. I, 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 I couldn't get a game, I think. I don't know what he was in that. There was something not right with that. But he's no, still not getting a game, is he? No. And I, I, I mean, obviously, there's different theories and all that. Aye. It, but it's, 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 it's one of the ones where you're like, um, why take these players there, right, if Aye. you're going to... Wait, because it's stupid money, right? And obviously Aye. you're talking fucking two, three hundred grand a week. Two I mean, hundred grand a week. What was, what, was the, what was the players? Because I seen that you were actually one of the highest paid players at one point. Aye. And what was it, two and a half grand or something? Aye, I get three grand a week. It was um, that was the highest. Well, I, I get when I'm back to Celtic, they owed me money, so they gave me some lads. So that would have been three, four grand. So. Aye. But that was a hell of a lot of dough. That's it's counting, that's count, money, I mean, that's but, counting signing on fee. Aye. You know, that's, that wasn't what my ways was. It was aye. just worth the signing on fees. Aye. But it was good. It was, listen, it was great money. It wasn't life changing money. No. Like they're getting now. I know. Today you get a contract, you're, you're changed your life. You've got your money now. I know. I was talking to Lenny and we're playing golf. 
And we're talking about just different things. And I'm going, fucking fit buzz about entertaining people. Aye. He says, Frank, nobody, nobody, that's a word that nobody no, uses no. now. Aye, isn't he? he says, you walk in the dressing room. He says, and there's 15 CEOs sitting there with their phones. They're joking. He says, aye, they're aye, all, because know, they're aye. all getting that much money, aye. they've all got their companies. I don't, and all, and I'm going, media, I would kick the fucking, I would kick the phones out. <laughs> no yeah, phones in the dressing room. Definitely. You can't get a football player, get them, get that out. No. I seen one, a Newcastle boy, fucking in his phone, his sock. They're joking. But when they didn't warm up, I'm going, fucking, my, my <laughs> manager would have choked me, a big, <laughs> big bully. <laughs> fucking hell. He would have been, he would have choked me if it was, you know, John Lyle was the same, he didn't cross him either, he was... Aye. You know. No, it's definitely changing. I think it's changing for I don't think it's changing for the worst. It's no, Aye, it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no, it's no entertainment. You see them running about. Yeah, Fernand, uh, no Fernand, we call him Fernandez. My Aye. United team, and they're complaining because it's went viral. I know. It's embarrassing. I know. It's just, it's just looking at it and go, all right, okay, I'll next stop that. Aye. That's no, what you should do instead of fucking moaning about it. I know. His manager saying it's no right. I know. It's <laughs> <laughs> fucking rolling about and then when they got the boy jumped up, he's getting it up. Give me that. I know. <laughs> you know. Yeah, I thought he was going to the hospital. <laughs> and all of a sudden he's jumped up and he's running about. <laughs> no, I was like a sniper in the crowd that shot him. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's fucking, it's mad. It's, mm-hmm. it's just weird in the way that see boys like yourself mm-hmm. and uh, guys who were really talented, mm-hmm. you just must look at it and go like, no, like, fucking well, hell, like, off these boys, Benny Lacey boys and no. his boots, you know what I mean? No, work I ethic and everything, because... Nah, the work ethic was brilliant back in the day. I mean, it was, that's what, it was a team. Aye. You worked as a team. I think there's a lot of individuals now. Aye. You know, I, I, it's my Celtic's my team, but they've not been, in the last few weeks, they've not been playing as a team. Aye. And it's all individuals. I know. And then all of a sudden, bang, they come out there and eat and you're like, nah, that's a team. I, I, it's like, it's, if they can do it once, they can definitely. do it all the fucking time, you know? Aye. So that's what Brendan's got to sort out. Because, but well, it's like, because I enjoyed that then, yeah. Aye. Watching, I've not been enjoying watching me, the game, exactly. it's been fucking terrible, aye. What do you think, eh, eh, Brendan Rogers, Frank? I, I, say, no I, know know he's a great, I know he's a great coach. Great coach, and, you know, I was delighted when he came back, to be honest with you, because. I thought there was a lot of politics when they left the first time, and mm-hmm. it's starting to creep in again. I know. At the moment, I'm not going to name names, but there's Aye. people behind the scenes shouldn't be involved. And uh, it is what it is. He got a chance to go to Leicester, and he says that when he be there at the end of the season, because I know he wanted to go at the end of the Aye. season, and he says the job might not be there. But the guy died in the helicopter, didn't he? Okay, so that was his, because he, he likes to run the club. Aye. He's not getting that at Celtic. I know and I think a manager should, it's, because the players... Is that what it was like when you, back, back in your day? Well, your manager. managers fucking bought the players. Big Bully fought to get me. Mm-hmm. And they didn't, the board didn't want to spend that kind of money. It was 850000 They've never spent that I know, before. Just a load. And, uh, and he says, look, well, he wins the league and police his eyes. So I didn't know that. Aye. Um, so he put a lot of pressure on me, right? Fucking Aye. So, um, it was, but that was, that's what it is. He fought. Now, if he never won the league, he was getting sacked there. Aye. You know, I'd have got me sacked. Aye. So he done, he put a lot of trust in me. So, And it was only me and we, Joe, Joe Mallet, he bought. Aye. And it was like, John Lyle used to talk about it, it was like a cog in the chain. Aye. You know, for something, if there's a link missing. Oh, aye. He says, it's fucked. He says, so that's, that's what he, he bought me for. And it was, our team was also Alex supporters, because Rangers were fucking... I know. Every, everywhere you looked, there was two internationals at right back, two at centre half. It was, it was just incredible. Um, But we just, because we were Celtic supporters, we pumped them. <laughs> yeah, I'll, uh, so no, I know it's so. I'm going to actually take you to kind of some of the old firm stuff and some of the old firm <laughs> games, and there was obviously the notorious old firm game. Um, we'll go into, but so what was like your favourite kind of? I mean, obviously we we can't imagine. But what's it like actually like playing against Rangers? Well, the, as soon as I signed, I wanted to, you know, when's when's you get the fixtures out, and and I'd signed during the season, so the that was the one of them. So I'd signed in October, and. Uh, they just get knocked to the League Cup the same way the day after. And the first thing you do is, after I made my debut against Hibs, it was Wednesday Rangers game, that's what you want. Aye. And it was at Ibrox, it was five five weeks away or something. So I was well in, and, and Big Billy used to talk to me, because I never used to do the warm-ups, Aye. you know, I never done the warm-ups. Aye. You know, boys used to get run up. We train all week for it, and then yeah. I'd get the physio to give me a stretch and all that kind of stuff. Aye. I was ready for the game, so. I didn't see the fucking point in getting run up down just it was just for a coach. <laughs> it was like no, I'll just get stretches and all that. And I remember Billy talking to me, and some people go nuts, you know, kick boys and all that, and 
get hyped up, but okay, I'm just reading paper and, all, and big play. I don't ever forget the first game. He says, "Don't get involved." Aye. Losing more <laughs> words. Aye. <laughs> Fourteen minutes later, I get sent off. Aye. You took two name leave, didn't you? Aye, see, I see. <laughs> three well, three them two in court. Aye, it was brilliant. Uh, the court case was. I mean, it's like you can't help but laugh when it's Aye. me because it's always me. It's like. It's not no Scottish. It's it's fucking global. This is the first <laughs> time in world football Aye. that the police ever get involved, and it had to be me, didn't it? And it was, and I'm looking round where my teammates are running away. I thought, fuck it, time to get in. <laughs> <laughs> but I always hit the goalkeepers. I always like hitting the goalkeepers. So I say to the boys, then you know Andy Andy Gorman, I God rest him. He's doing. He used to say, fucking hell, every time, Aye. and they knew it was coming. So it was right at the start. Roy fucking fired a one at goalkeeper just so I could help him. And I used to help him and, and they'd go in and go. And it was always a foul. Aye. And when I hit Chris Woods, the referee gave a corner. And I fucking thought it was hilarious because <laughs> he's in the back of the net. Aye. And I'm going, well, we're getting, we're getting, we're getting away with this today. I thought it was one of us, but obviously it wasn't. <laughs> and uh, and if, if they gave a free kick, that would have been it sorted. Aye. And then the next one... <laughs> And he tried, and I lifted my hands. Out. And see if he just says, right, you used to sort it out. I know, I know. It was just, there was no punch. He never left a game again, a top game. It was, Duncan. Sh- it was shocking, wasn't it? it was, Aye, but he never left a game. Aye. He never, he never got, no, no, he's, uh, he just shit himself, obviously. Aye. That was a big He should tell us him. I know, I know. He tells him for fucking saying, <laughs> I know, he <gave> me. <laughs> <laughs> um, so, who was the, who, I'll ask you who your, who was the best Rangers player you played against? Oh, fucking, Sinus was great. I mean, Sinus was, David Cooper, I played against him. I was going to actually say Wonderful, it, wonderful. I, I love David as well, I got on Millwall. Um, I but David Cooper, Cooper's probably most talented. But I love, Sinus, Ray Wilkins, fucking, playing against Ray. Even to South, he's such a nice guy. And, he, you know, you try something to heat the game. I go keep going, Mac. I keep going. You're like, what the f-? <laughs> Rangers boy? You know, Aye. he just he was a football guy. Aye. He was total football, and uh, yeah, it was. Uh, and then Scottish boys golf and all that. You know, it Aye. was good. Gorham was good, I know. But Aye. I mean, I, I remember. I mean, I was only young, but fucking night he, he, he broke his stuff. Oh fuck it! Some of the saves he made. I know. He done it. He done it. We were playing in Scotland, England. Scotland. He's lined up melting and all. Ah, we were. We all good. We were pals. We were pals. We were playing in Scotland against. The rest of the world. Maradona was supposed to be playing that, right, but he was playing against England. Um, and we went down there and it was at Fulham. And we did it the night before, Coyce, you know, and he, Andy's fucking bloated. <laughs> and I'm going, how are you going to play tomorrow? He never stopped drinking. He got up the following day and had a drink before we went out. <laughs> so did you uh, all you stick out together un- and then we un- were all playing all for him? Oh, I kicked you out each other, I. <laughs> <laughs> He was mad, unbelievable it? when he'd been drinking all night and he Aye. was, uh, I thought I could do it. Nah, no, nah, he was different class. Uh, well, different, different league. Aye, it was, uh, it was um, great at cricket as well. He was a cricket player, wasn't he? Was he? Aye. Aye, Andy, he played for, uh, he played for England. Cricket. Did he? Aye. Scott, I didn't know that. No, I didn't know that. He was a brilliant cricket player, aye. No, I remember, obviously, I remember the save with Van Hoy Dunk, not that. Oh, aye, aye, that, aye, I was aye, a wee bit, I was a wee bit, I'm 30, 39, Frank, aye, so I remember that aye. save. I don't, I don't know if there's a better save in the world than that, man, no. to be honest, I don't know. No. Banks, he's made, looks, the Gordon Banks one, aye. Um, but fucking nah. Um, so I'm going to kind of move on, right, and take you to kind of your own kind of personal life aye. and the kind of life. So I was watching it wee bits yesterday and on the documentary and um, it was saying how much you actually changed like you were the kind of first guy to kind of change all the kind of off scene stuff Aye. string fellas all that kind of stuff never made the money for that I was, sure <laughs> fucking, I, was, I was a pioneer but do you know what it was I was just nice to people Aye. I can do what I do and just Peter St. Fella good dress he was like that he says because he, he never had any footballers in the club didn't Aye. want him in Aye. We're arrogant, ignorant, and then I come in. I'm talking to Dorman, I'm talking to the girls being in the bar, and he's fucking cushion hunting to be nice. I know. And uh, and everyone liked us, and Peter's going, fucking wow, you know, it was one of them. Then all of a sudden, it was one. But Peter was brilliant, me. He was, some of the players, Peter went to just me. He was, Aye. you know, Johnny Depp, fucking Jack Nicholson, fuck me. Party oh, with him. I know it's, it's life shit, it's stuff that's memories, isn't it? I know, you can tell you what, no better place than getting a locked in in Stringfield. <laughs> <laughs> or a lock in, no lock in, lock in. It'd be brilliant. <laughs> um, so, like, obviously, there was all the stuff like uh, 
Frankie with a page for you, ah, yeah. Frankie with that. How is how is that? How did that kind of all come about? Just obviously through string fellas, not that. Nah, just... I just got because I liked getting it and I liked blondes. Aye. I liked just getting it. I prefer women's company. Aye. You know, because I, I couldn't have bothered fucking people. People were great, and then all of a sudden I talk football. And and they don't want to really talk about football because when you get them an answer, they say you're wrong, and, and you, you know they're all and it's your fucking job refs. Aren't they? Like you're they're the all refs, you know, so <laughs> I say nah. So I like, the football. The women don't care. So aye, they're better to look at anyway, aren't they? Aye. So <laughs> that <would> definitely. <laughs> so. Uh, so obviously there was the the kind of stuff off the court with the courts and stuff yes. like that, right, and all that. Um, Obviously, I've been through court stuff and all that myself, yeah. Frank. A lot of court. How did how did all that come well, that about? That was my first bit of court. It was Len Murray. Mm-hmm. God, he's dead. Fucking dead. I know everyone's dead. Len Murray. He sorted the four of us. It was the four of us were getting charged. Mm-hmm. I'm in house and Big Billy for me, and he's he says that you've got to go to Billis. And I guess I've been drinking all night. I can't. He's like, who's with you? I says, I'm at night in a cup. He says, get fucking Alan and drive you. So <laughs> he says, and I says, no, he's drunk as well. I'll get a taxi. So I got a taxi and met somebody. And I met, and then I met up with Len Murray, and he was representing the Fouries. Aye. But just to go in and get charged. And, Aye. And I'm going, no, I never been but there was fucking world press where it said the PlayStation because it was, it was the first time. Aye. And it was like, I honestly thought, fucking the craze or something like you know, going to court when they killed somebody. It was incredible. Aye. Was uh, it frightening, Frank? Nah. Was it? Nah. I was Fuck laughing on back to camp. I'm from Milton. It didn't probably. really bother, you know, but it was getting, going to the play, going to the, getting charged, you see, and then, uh, Aye. And that was it for a few months until the court case, and then it was a fucking press loved it when it gold the locks and the three bears. I couldn't believe it. It was fucking brilliant. The headlines were made for everyone. And, and we're all having lunch together. You I know, know I think all, it's the this calling it Terry all, and all oh, that. Oh, what it's, a shite. We're I all, we, I mean, I knew the boys for England. Aye. You know, big Terry, unfortunately, got Terry, we got Terry relegated at Ipswich. West Ham beat him. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry about that, Terry. <laughs> I used to tell him to go and put a bandage on, nobody gives a fuck up here. <laughs> <laughs> he used to hear that. He's like, fuck off, you jock. No, I, 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 I. It was, um, but it was good. It was Terry. Uh, and it was Chris and it was Robbo, so it was Aye. big bitch. Big you think bitch. the papers like to sensationalise? Oh, uh, well, we don't have lunch. And the basic, what we thought was, if one's done, we're all done. Aye. You know, but didn't it, we shouldn't have been there. That was Aye. the thing. And it was, it was, you know, a different class when they, when they gave it, Chris guilty and Terry Butcher guilty and then I got not guilty, I bust it laughing, you know, <laughs> sucking. And then Robbo was not proven and he's going, was that me? And I says, I know it was you, they can't prove it. <laughs> so he's there. But the people keep saying, how'd you get away with it? And, that? and it was, um, the reason I got away with it, because we all had barristers. And I get the best of all, obviously, because... The laws of the football, the laws of the game have never changed Aye. since it started. Interpretations of the law have changed. So all the years ago, if you remember the football, you used to go to bar keepers, didn't they? Aye. And it is. Aye. So that, that law, the interpretation from then has changed. But in a court of law, they're not interested in that. Mm-hmm. They're interested in the law. Mm-hmm. So the law of the game was, I could hit a goalkeeper. Mm-hmm. And that's why I got away with it. Aye. And it was, fuck, I was like, oh, thank you very much. I said, fucking, <laughs> don't forget it. I get it. <laughs> can hit, hit my game. <laughs> so I used to, the next game I was out and I'm going, ref, I'm going Aye. to hit a goalkeeper now, I'm allowed to. He's <laughs> like, <laughs> yeah, you'll be off again. <laughs> I don't know what the fuck to do here. Aye. Um, so so that's, the, that's the reason. You got not go away. Got not go away, which was you know I, I feel sorry for Terry because he, he went he, this, he went to get a Scotland job with Burnley, minute he was assistant Aye. manager, and he's obviously said in the phone, mm-hmm. "You get a criminal record now." He says, "You better you, you, you better deal. check that again." I know, he, I know. He's like, I forgot, "I forgot about it." So it's a Nuts. shame, you know. It's know. a kid. And there's so many people, as you know, Frank. There's so many people out there that kind of desert like the the the, the push the, the law is so bad sometimes it's common sense that to take prevail do you know I what know, I mean? I know. Um so I'll take you kinda of like the the kind of how see your mental state, Frank, how's Aye. your mental state when you're partying and you're kinda of, <laughs> you're kinda of living this life, right? Aye. Are you enjoying I was it? living a dream. I was living a dream. It was it was um started late and, and it showed but I got to know everyone, all the ICF not in London, I got to know them all. Aye. You know, they're all pals, Carlton and Cass and all that. I, 
Andy Swallow, they're all good pal, you know, aye, going aye. Do it's great lads. And then boys are seeing others fighting, I'm going, only if you don't fucking do, if you aye, cross them. I can them. I can get them. Great boys, yeah, any normal guy, if you if you'd done something to them, would, would, wouldn't it be nice either? So I thought, nah, good boys. Aye. And I used to go out, and some of the boys used to, you know, never go out. They, they're all married now at the time. <laughs> And any time we're having a, it's Frank going to waste we says Frank going, no, he's going to Scotland. <laughs> he's going to Scotland. And he used to say, my wife, had, you're going to Scotland. <laughs> and changed my mind that day. <laughs> so all of a sudden, because it could have fucking last, like, and a question, it could last three days when I got. I bought a wife. <laughs> So the wife didn't like me going out. <laughs> Taking the lead in their man astray. <laughs> Not so, a day with me. <laughs> so see, like, when you're, um, obviously you're hitting it, but with, with drugs involved or that off? No, right? no, no, then, no. no. I, was, I, I got injured for a, I got injured for a, I was out for nearly a year. And then, and I'm sitting with all these girls and models and that, and, and I'm fucked. And, and I'm looking at Mary apart in the boot and I'm going, what the fuck? Hey. Couldn't understand it. Hey. You know, because I was fit. Aye. And I uh, just injured, but and that's when I took drugs. It was only cocaine. It was Aye. only cocaine, but it's, but it was. Listen, once no. I started, once I got okay to play football, it stopped. I know. So I got the reputation, you know. Um, it was that more after it, wasn't Aye. it? Because you get drug tested, don't you? Aye. You know, and there was no, and I couldn't play the way I played if, if I was on drugs. You know, of course. Like, no, I'd I don't. fucking take cocaine, but why talk to the goalkeeper? Aye. A wee glass of wine, not that, but why you sit down and have a wee chat to him? <laughs> People don't realise that. But fucking last thing I'd want to do is run about. <laughs> so, um, um, it was different. I I know, and it's, I mean, obviously this day and age, it's, mm. cocaine's a big problem. Mm. I, I mean, I work, we, I work with kind of all that stuff, right? And it's it's kind of, um, that is a big problem. It's a, it's 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 normalised, you know what I mean? And, and people are desensitised to cocaine now in Scotland. Fucking, but people don't know what's in it. It's fucking, it's I can't imagine what's in it now. It's... I actually put a TikTok out the other day mm. and it went viral and it was about fentanyl. That's, I mean, we get we got police reports to say there's fentanyl found in the cocaine. And co- some of the cocaine that you're getting, you're lucky. Honestly, aye. you're lucky if it's like 10%. 1%. And it's it's a right? like, oh, aye, you're lucky. Um, it's, it's just, and, and the amount of people that are writing going, I, that's bullshit and why would you put this in? And, and you, they don't understand how drugs work. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? But... To me personally, I just I don't like the way they see. I don't like how normalised as listen. Aye, let everybody do what they want. And I, know. I, I I'm a great believer. If you're happy in life, but the thing is, people doing, know, they don't want to even hide it now. No, I know. You know that's what you no. know. It was a guys used to go when to I the took it. When, when I took it, it was it was expensive and and it was fucking proper stuff. And you didn't have to go every ten minutes. You know, Aye. it was. Um, and I'm not. Praising it up and on, but you you didn't know anyone else. Yeah. You, you know, I was you know you take take it yourself, and it I'm was gonna, one of them. And I fucking knew the queue, and they're all going, "Oh wait, I'm going to learn you laugh." Like, no, I, I know. wonder what you're in there for. You know, fucking people. You oh, know, and they I, don't care. Definitely. I mean, that's you know, that's that's what's you know. I feel a bit ashamed, and I think these boys fucking should. You know, I, anyway. I, th- I think once it gets normalised, Frank, at that the level it's normalised. What, what, what frightens me is right. See, people want to do what they want to do. That's fine. Mm-hmm. I've not got a problem. Like I know loads and loads of people that do it. Yeah. And I, I know, mm-hmm. but see when the kids uh, uh, are like sixteen and Aye. fifteen, and they're they're messing about. Terrible. And their heads are no, um, evolved. Especially with that crap because people want to fight. Man. I'm going. I, know. I can't remember fucking ever want to argue with somebody. I know. Never mean fight somebody. I know. You know, so no, it's definitely. obviously changed and... Because you'd have uh, obviously been part of the kind of... The ecstasy scene and all that, wouldn't I didn't like, take it, I didn't um, take it. But we had joint... We had joint I always liked being in control. I always like to know what I'm doing and... Aye. And that, that was probably the only thing I could have took, you Aye. know, that would... Because you know, I see people with their fucking eyes are out of place oh, and I thought, I'm not taking that. I know. So I couldn't... Um, you know, so I'm not, I'm not a doctor, I don't like... Injection, so there's no chance I was going to go in. Anyway. Aye, it was aye. only, it was only a recreational. It I know. Was, for me, it was. Or a stars doing it, wouldn't it? Let's aye. be honest. Like, I can have to it. It was, it was rife. Do you know what I mean? And see when you're a young boy and it's kind of fun. Aye. You're in these. Well, places. that was because I was fucked and all these girls are fucking bouncing aye. about, and I'm like, oh, I don't know, man. <laughs> <laughs> What's happening here? Aye. 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 I'm not getting. No, I was still young in my prime. I was like, I've oh, tired that old man. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that was it. That was how it started. But it was never in a plane fit. But as I say, it was just, no, couldn't, couldn't have done it. So, 
see like when the there's a, obviously there's that fucking saying what's where's the birds and I watched the thing I think it was you, you were talking with James and I said I have to have fucking said that in my life what happened did Johnny keep saying I've said it but I, I had a bar you know a hoops bar aye, aye, aye. I had that it was Macca's right I had that and uh, and I would, but I was trying to get this venture I had school dinners there's a school dinners in London and it's fucking it's the they all dress up like just trainings and all that kind of aye, stuff aye. and they serve you get it's like a they have two. They get two tables. I've seen that. I've seen what you're talking about. Fer, Fergie and Prince's die. They went there for Fergie's uh, Hindu. So Aye. that was what they done, and it became famous. Aye. And it's brought in as a gay head master and shouting and bawling, and he's got what? No, right. And the kid on there wasn't people. They know what? Anyway, it was all good fun, and I, I, I used to love it in there. Aye. So I go to the rights to up here and fucking, and I've walked into the bar and I was doing interviews with the girls and. And uh, I walked in, my brother was working for me, and he says, oh, there's a couple of girls there for interviews for the you know, school dinners. I went, okay. So I'm in the back and I had to say a couple of checks, and I come Aye. in and I says, where's the girls? Aye. And that was it, and he's changed it to where's the boys, which is fair. There was a guy talking to my brother, he's a pal of Phil Differ. Aye. And Phil Differ's, you know, the Aye. guy that does everything at the right for Johnny, so that's where it was, that's where it came from. But I, it was, uh, I loved it, I loved school dinners. I loved it. Uh, it's been doing Halloween a bit new. Right? Well, I used to have a go to it and say, look, I was the only funny bit in it. I thought that. I'd and be, it, and it, it used to be all footballers, but the characters left, so he's not being. But I, see when, see when, I was annoyed when, because see when Coyster gets that, he well, never gets that, he put in garden and leave. Aye. As soon as he get put in garden and leave, I'm fucking thinking, we know him sitting at the bottom of the garden, because likes fishing. Aye. And he loves fishing, and, and Johnny's a big Rangers fan, and I'm going, Cause you would have loved that, you know. Him. He's fucking Aye. sitting there and you talked to a woman or that, you know. Aye. It would have been great Aye. doing that, and he never done it. And I thought that's fucking waste. That's a full, that's a full sketch here you that you could have done it. New I know. And, uh, you know, it was in King Kim Jong Young with kind of Iron Brew, and I'm going, what the fuck is that, you know? <laughs> no. And uh, so I was, I was with Judy Murray, and she says it took all day. They were doing something, Aye. and I was doing a thing only a uh, football thing with her. And she went, Frank, it's all day with a perfectionist, Johnny. Uh, and uh, and it was about they're playing tennis and the, the end it was they run into the net and uh, they run in, shake hands, and she uh, says, Have you ever jumped a net? And he says, I don't know what you look like. <laughs> <laughs> and that's that's what it was like, and that's it's brilliant, you know. Uh, and all that kind of stuff. I loved that, but that was the only funny thing in the show. And, know. You know, Johnny's a good actor, but he's just and I've seen him doing the stage show when he walks in, just fucking five minutes, he does the same thing. Aye. Just everyone laughing and all that. And it's brilliant, you know, Aye. it's good. You know, it's, it's a good, shame it's died a death, isn't it? It's a shame because it, we used to, I had a bit of a new year. But it's, it's it. just because it's, it's ran its course, you know, it was one of them because it used to be me as soon as the Gleish, fucking Aye. God McQueen. It was just, everyone was just, you know, fair game. Know. <laughs> it was everybody, it was got, everybody who's anybody got it. Aye. You know, no, I think Dennis Law and all that. We used oh, to Dennis Law was, it was fun great and all, so it was good. We used to get all up and uh, who's the guy you still was going about buying buy Munich? I know. I I'll make that better munching. You know, <laughs> can you see it, Bayern Munich? <laughs> uh, so obviously, I'm going to take you kind of the other kind of court cases. Obviously, you were rightly mm -hmm. weird of the uh, drug offences yes. and stuff. What happened there? For how did all the thing is, I was supposed to listen. I'm not going to name me, but I was. Aye, aye. I was supposed to. I was staying with a guy in Newcastle, and, he, and he, his pal came down, and I knew his pal for mm -hmm. clubs and up here, and, but he was, you know, he didn't see the boy, and I'm thinking, he's his godfather. He's his, he's my mate's son. Mm -hmm. This boy is his godfather, and I, so I never thought anything. They're, mm -hmm. they're very close pals. And there's no way, there's no way in a million years that I was afraid anyone would have done something in front of me. Aye. I thought it was an introduction or some fucking thing. Aye, aye. You know, so I'm in the, I was supposed to be playing golf. Aye. Pissing down a rain, so I was, that's, why I, that's why I was in the car. Mm -hmm. But I'm in the car and I think, man, I'm banned for driving. Mm -hmm. My mate gets out of the car to go and see somebody, and I stole the car and jumped the car and drove it away. Aye. And I hid the car around the corner. Aye. Now, if I known there was a fucking drug deal going down. Nah, of course. I'd have been like, what? Aye. <laughs> so, I never, you know, and I was concerned when the police told me that it was because I was driving. I thought it was because I was banned. Aye, That's aye. what I thought the deal was. I well, was, aye, and aye. Then, oh, I was fucking, and I talked to him, and then all of a sudden it was, but they gave the guns and all that, and I was, I know. and I could start laughing. <laughs> and they said to me, um, hey, where's the drugs? And I went, oh, it's in my pocket. And they went, what? <laughs> <laughs> it was a wee ticket pocket at the line. 
I said, you take the piss. I said, oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he's like, laughing at his nerves. <laughs> and, uh, and that's the, they thought it was fucking, you know, one of them. So that was it. And I got a duty lawyer and, and I had to go. See, I'd the press will tell you, any time I've done something, I just put my hand up. That's fucking uh, I wasn't put my hand up for this. I never done anything. No, of course. And uh, and I went on Saturday morning and the, the, the duty lawyer applied for bail on Saturday morning. I didn't know you kind of get bail on a Saturday morning. Mm -hmm. Cause it's got to be, you know, it's got to be right. three. Aye. And uh, and I'm like, fucking you know hell, you should have known that. Aye. And then turned up on the Monday, supposed to come on the Monday, and they never turned up to the afternoon. Fuck so there was hell. fucking hundreds of press here. Aye. So he gets sacked straight away. Aye. Um, he says, I, I was in York, I said, fuck, he's staying in York. Aye. And, uh, and, I, and then I got, my parliament goes, I, I oh, did right. this, he says, look, I'm going to get a barrister, he says, but you've got to, you got to stay in. I said, why? He said, you only get three chances chances mm -hmm. to get bail. He said, and if they ask me a question that I don't know, and aye, aye. you could be in here for a year. Aye. I went, oh, it's all right. So he said, so I need a month. And I was like, oh, fucking hell. So I know. Uh, I just had to go to in Roman to, to Durham. Fuck, what a place Durham, I was. I know. What a place it's it was. It's an eye opener, isn't it? Aye, you know, it's one name. I'd, I wouldn't recommend it to anyone, but I've seen some of these fucking so called gangs, they put them in a fucking pl oh, in a place for a month. I know. They'll, they'll soon change their mind. And I see it as well. For, I, I see it as well. Like, I've done 15 years, right? I've done a uh, long, long time, uh, right? And um, it was obviously like cut over different prisons and different uh, prisons. Uh, different institutions are, are different. But when you look at. Um, like yourself, something like yourself, Grant, who's, who's not a criminal, who's no. not thingy. And you probably would have been all right. The boys would have been all right. We got a laugh right. and stuff, right? But I was saying first day. Still, oh, were you? Aye, guy picked me. Fuck's sake. Mm. First day, he doesn't. Stick around him. Aye. <laughs> welcome, Aye. Welcome, welcome to Glasgow. Aye. Aye. What so happened was, there? Just, just, just fucking started telling me what he did. The cops were all right. They were trying to get a job. Aye, aye. They put me these boys and he's going, fucking do you do this and do that? And he's the way he talked to me. And I thought, really? I need to do that. He came in my face and I just nudged him. So that was that. He never came in my game. game. So I was that. I'm going, yeah, I'm a two bob footballer and all that. I know you get it. But it was one of them. I thought, I'm not going to hide for anybody in here. So they were good. Fucking West Ham were playing Newcastle and all that. And they're all fucking, you know. So they put me in the day. I was serving meals and that was a good job. So I'd get out and phone and all that. And I'm serving meals, and they're all going, you're getting fucked, and all that, all the job is <laughs> getting all that. And uh, that night, all you hear, come lying and say, all I hear is them, somebody's, they've all got tellies or whatever, and they're none. And obviously, um, Newcastle scored. Aye. And then it was fucking, yeah, it was obviously West Ham scored, <laughs> and then West Ham obviously scored again. I was getting called everything. <laughs> so I was so serving breakfast in the morning, I'm going, well, I'm singing, all right, two, one, two, the cock, my boys. <laughs> oh, fuck off. <laughs> so I thought I was going to get hit with one of the trees, but nah, they were all right. <laughs> I know, good. I know. They took it, they took it off. Man. No, I always say, I say, like, see, like, the Justice Minister, right? Yeah. Justice Minister should go in there for a week. Mm -hmm. Or even, like, just well, to do you know see what, Do you know why I was in there? I was, see, the court case, I know, but the prisons are terrible, but the court case was even worse than prison because the, the police fucking lied, just stand there barefaced lying. And, it, and lucky, luckily, the police in England told the truth. Aye. Because it was the police in Scotland just wanted to do me. And I'm, because who I am. And I'm like, that, really? And they say, no. I go to the moor and pass the bag of drugs and all that. They took the, they took the jury to Newcastle Station, and uh, this was a Tuesday, and this was a Friday right. afternoon, this mm -hmm. happened. And they say, I go, and I go, when I was there, people are coming off the trees, all right, Mark, how are you doing all that? And he couldn't do a fucking all thing. Right. And, uh, and the jury's going, oh, I don't know, man, this is, this is not even a busy time. Um, and it was supposed to be on a Friday afternoon, a great busy to people Aye. coming for the weekend and all that. And the police says, i had done this and i done that. And he says, where were you sitting? He says, we're in there. And they couldn't see. Aye. They couldn't see the entrance. And luckily the police, you know, the English police says, like, he was sitting by a car with some woman at the time. He says, just having a cigarette. So they got the other fucking officer back and he just lied, you know. And no. So it was, it was they tried, they did try to do it because they'd sacked you two, two juries before the court case. Aye. It was two juries. I'm, I'm thinking, what? So how long? Were, how long was you actually? Were you a month. A month. month like, aye, but it's fucking long enough. I'll tell so you. was a high court bill. Did you get a high court bill? Or like bailed with the high court? Or was it no. Once I once just, once just I got first, that. I was right once I got once I got no once you they applied for the third. He applied aye, the third, third application, bill. but aye. and he got it because he knew everything. It was aye. you know he went through. It was a barrister. Got 
they don't, they very, very seldom was doing anything. I know. So, so that was it. I got it, and it was great. Did that change your perspective? Aye, I, I mean, right. fuck, I was scared to go out. I know. Because I was scared to go out. And for me, that was a, you know, it was a horrible thing. No. I was really scared to, I was scared to go in. I was like, fucking hell, in case somebody just um, tried to do me again, no. you know. No, horrible. your mental health takes, like... It was horrible. I took a button. I, I know. You know, they call it mental health now, but... I just go on with it, you know, it was one of them, there was nothing there. nobody there at the no. time, and they no help you. Nothing, but you see a lot of people fucking... You get both saying, there's a lot of, I, I feel sorry for the people that are really suffering mental health, because there's a lot of people that don't need that saying there. I know. And it's, I think that's wrong, you know, know, and the people who need it really need it. Aye. Um, so. No, I know what you mean. Uh, so I'll take you kind of on to, like, uh, the kind of... Your, your kind of engagement with the football fans early years and like mm -hmm. uh, some of the kind of best, some of the good stories what, like you've got that, 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 that you've just had with fans in general. Because I know you like your nights out and, and meeting meeting new people. So uh, if you get any kind of good stories that you can no, tell I was, I was I remember once and it was, uh, it was on a boat in the Thames and I was with Jenny Blythe. I was going about five years and there was years. And we're having a laugh and it was a couple of people wanting me to look after me. To London, and I'm going, really, why look after me for that? No, I'll look after you, and obviously, try to, Aye. and I says, no, nah, don't, no chance. And there's a crowd room, and we're all on the boat, and there was a, a dance and all that, and this guy was dancing with Jerry, and, and he's, but he worked with this guy, for this, with this guy, and I'm talking to him, and he says, eh, there must be something I could do. I says, either something you can do, you can get your boy to take his hands up, if I can miss him, I'm going to fucking batter him. <laughs> and, uh, and, and, and we, Paul, Paul Ferris was there, and he went, typical Glasgow, typical Glasgow. <laughs> so I, that was the first time I met Paul, but, uh, but they're all good boys, you know, uh, everyone's good. Uh, I mean, they weren't a day now, and they were every week having a good laugh, and... Uh, it was great. And I know said, Paul. I don't know him like I, just, I know. Like, I know him. Aye. But I don't know. Him. I'm no pals or anything. But he's like he's a great guy. He's, I yeah, don't he's, know him. You know, there's a lot of stuff for young people. He was one of the first family. when I get put in prison. He was one of the first ones. I'm saying I don't know anybody. He was one of the first ones to send me away. He's saying keep your. But he was, it was good. Very tight. When he was just saying keep your chin up. Aye. We know the, everybody knows you've got on to do with us. And Aye. it was one of them because I'm not involved. No, that, you know? I know. I know them all, but I'm not involved in any of them. So no, I'm, I, I, it's I, nice, it, it's it, nice. It's, 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 it gives you that wee bit of, When I went mm -hmm. to Shots, I, uh, I don't know what I was to mention the guy's name and all, but when mm -hmm. I went to Shots, um, I'd pop, like some of my pals outside did kind of say to the other cousins from your way. Yeah. And um, like, the, the, so the guy, the guy had came down to my and it makes some difference, I know. honestly. I like, know. I don't remember going to Shots. Well, people kept like, trying to give me, when I was in, people kept trying to give me money because they took my money. I only took 200 quid. Evidence, fucking hell. Aye. I was going to a lap dancing club that afternoon, that's where we were Aye. going. Aye. Fucking, it was, uh, so it was, it was one of them. I could get a dance for a tenner. It was, great. <laughs> <laughs> it was good in the days, but that was it. But people kept trying to give me, and I'm going, and I get told not to take nothing off anybody. Aye. Or the way, and I'm thinking, fucking, I'm watching too many movies, and I'm going, no, and I'm going, for fuck's sake, <laughs> the boys are trying to. <laughs> you know? I know. So it was one of them. It was, uh, it's hard it was, to navigate. It was good with football, and football coincides with some like that. Aye. I was in there, and when they were giving me a job, the first, second day, I'm in there and the big screw. And that I was so good for me because all the one is respect, so you call them, yeah, boss or no boss or aye, whatever aye. or that. Just be polite to them. And I heard this shout, Mac, if any. And I thought, oh, fuck, here we go. And, and I looked up and he went, come here. And I went, I'll be up. And I said, yeah, boss. And he went, he says, the last time I seen you, it was the 1988 Cup final, and he's a chifter, so I know he's a Dundee United supporter, you know. He went, Last time I seen him was in 1988 Cup final, and I went, is that right, boss? And he says, you signed an autograph for my son. I went, does it, boss? He says, just fucking as well, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> I was laughing, I thought. Aye. And he gave me a job, it was great. He was a system warden or something, but he gave me a job so I could get out and... Aye, get in a bit, make some difference. Aye, I was out picking up the trees and all that kind of stuff. It was great. Aye. You know, I was a cleaner. It was good. Aye. No, it's, it's, when you go, when you wrote, it's called The Pass. I don't know if it was Aye. called The Pass when you were. It's called The Pass when we were on, and people used to lie. Like, that was a, that was a job. And Aye. It's, like, I, I feel bad. I, I left a lot of good, good boys behind in the mm. prison, do you Aye. know what I mean? And uh, I've moved on with my life, and I'm Aye. doing well. And, I know. I still, I get that guy. Do get that guilt where Aye. you think you're you're leaving boys behind? And I know. Well, I, I mean, I've I, got I, a pal, Frank. Right, I've got one pal, and uh, Ryan, his name is, and 
he got he got this thing it's called a life restriction order right never killed MD never right. raped anybody never done anything like that right was right. done with a serious assault right. he got two years right two years on a life restriction order right how long do you think he's done 16 years Cocking hell. 16 years and he's still not why um, just because it's a it's, it's like a, it's, it's a life restriction order so it's like you're it's basically a license you need to prove so he wouldn't, when he got offered, they went, look, you can take a, basically a seven-year sentence, or you can take us two years, and they went, I'll give me the two-year. But he didn't understand the licensing. So he's been in 16 years back-to-back, back, mm-hmm. more than some That's guys who terrible. have been done for murder. Um, and it is, it, so you, you, you do feel that way where you kind of, you like leave these boys who are your pals and you, you, mm-hmm. you're moving on, but anyway. Um, so I'm just going to kind of what you're up to the new, and, and, and oh, I know you're doing a lot of good stuff where you're talking, and everybody's kind of, Talking about your your legendary talks and stuff it's like good. and uh, your after talks. Well, I've, I've got a lot to talk about. It's fucking uh, you know all that crap again. It's it's good for after dinner. So oh, aye. So uh, it's good fun. People don't want to hear. Oh, I crossed the ball here and I done this and my God, do I? You know, it's, they want to hear other things and it's it's good, you know. Aye. And I uh, and I keep telling people what you've read about is in the newspaper. That none none like that. It's no. Fucking a lot better than that. No, you're actually. I know. I know. <laughs> aye, I know. <laughs> exactly. That's but minimised. Aye. Aye. <laughs> So uh, it's, it's good, but not even just meeting you. That you can just mm-hmm. tell your your the, the personality. You, it's ripping at you. Do you know what I mean? Uh, but what, what do you think of the kind of modern game? The new then in the way, like just kind of like the, 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 where do you think it's going, Frank? And like for a fit, an old an old kind of fit. Where do you think it's striker, going? I don't know how I would have done because you know take Celtic. They've got fucking sixteen wingers, and none of them can beat a man. <laughs> <laughs> like what? Just beat a man and cross a ball in the box, you know and. No. They've got a big boy. I mean, I feel sorry for Kyogo because uh, he's a wonderful talent. Yeah, but we'll be lucky to keep him out. Well, the play the way they've been playing, it's not him, and you know he, he's got, a, you know, Hatati, and that they and uh, the boy uh, in the wing, uh, what's it called Maida. They Palma, really look no, for him. Palma looks good, but he's. Oh well, no, I think me it's the boy Adi, but the Israeli boy, which I feel sorry for him, you know. Um, in the wing because he was great you know Aye. and he looked for Kyogo all the time Aye. And, and I feel sorry for him because he's I know there's politics in the being football but the boys have got a big thing about Palestine and, no. and he must feel like shit when he walks out and, they're, and they're, I they back him I know. know they're all fucking backing him and they, they're not shouting but it must just be hard for him to see no, of course I mean obviously I've I, I done a podcast with Tommy Sheridan and I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of aye aye brother, uh, I, I, brother. <laughs> brother. I mean, my brother Tommy is my brother I love uh, Tommy but he's, um, he's he's we've done a, a full podcast about Palestine it was quite I just I don't I think we'll look back I genuinely Frank think we'll look back mm-hmm. um, on this in 20 years down the line and go what the fuck we, 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 did we sit back and watch here Aye. we're watching a genocide happening I, I started to do that bad I don't I know. mean but we are watching something I'm, 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 I'm the same I, I think it's fucking I think they should say, look, you might go after Hamas, go after Hamas. Go, but, aye, of course. But don't fucking Definitely. drop bombs on people. You know, I say, um, they've, they've, got, they've got to think people on the street to go and, and I know. do Hamas if they want. No, and definitely. That, that saves all of uh, civilians. Well, can you imagine, I like, I always say... I think I've got a right to go after them. Of course. You know, oh, definitely. Like, it, it, I think there's too many, too many incidents getting, getting oh, caught in the fire line now. Definitely. And I think, if you were to... There's a you, reason but the governments are not doing it. Nah, of because course. why they're not say, put a slope to it because I don't know what it is about but fucking money I can't teach money I, but I, I can't teach I, I, money I mean obviously talk about Russell Brand he does uh, a lot of, on I, it. I like Welch and Russell Brand I know he slaughters him Carlson I like your boy Carlson aye, he slaughters Tucker him Carlson, slaughters aye. Um, I, I'm not keen on Tucker I don't well, I don't think he's still gave Putin that, <laughs> that, <laughs> that I know I, I, but do you know what this is just Putin and Russia and, and Ukraine my mate in Cyprus, my best mate, I go there and live in his wife's Ukraine. Aye. And, uh, and they live in Cyprus now. They're aye, there. Aye. And her sister and husband come here with her daughter. Aye. And she says, it's not fucking, it's not Russia. Aye. Russia's the ones that let them out. It's, it's that idiot. Aye. And then Ukraine's when they let anybody out. Oh, Biden's just the worst. But the Ukraine's when they let anybody out. And the, the Russians got them all across the border and says, look, Enjoy, enjoy your life. Aye. They go to the Russians, and I'm going. So you don't know what the fuck. No, you don't know. You don't know what they, I they're they're they saying this guy's a fucking failed actor. I know. He's an he used to do the a comedian, man. isn't he? Zelensky. No, I don't. It's, uh, he's, he's, it's he's, 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 
his goose about fucking 30 million now. You're joking, no. are you? No, I'm like, fucking hell. No, so there's this definitely guy fucking get that. Comedian. You know, <laughs> a wee comedian. A wee comedian, not even funny. I know. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, no, I know, it's, the, the world of politics is it's, it's in some state, but um, I can know. So, looking at... just the biggest crooks that we're going to have. We're talking yeah. about now. Oh no, I see like see, <laughs> Everyone it's definitely like, the yeah. United, I mean see Tony Blair, uh, what he done in Iraq, uh, he should get the jail. It's gonna be interesting now because George Galloway just got picked, didn't he? I know. He won. I'd love to so get George he, on here. But I'd he's love on to get him he's on now, on. he's on now Westminster. Aye. I'm gonna watch that because he's Aye. fucking oh, he's George brilliant. Brilliant. He's just oh he doesn't he doesn't miss anything. Oh definitely. He's very good at speaking. Aye, <laughs> but, oh, I seen him uh, with uh, when he got grand jury. They couldn't get him quicker. Oh, fuck uh, it. Because he, he brought in a new note. He says, you were pally with Saddam. Yeah. They were going like, right, OK, get him out. <laughs> like, don't let him in. I know. Mean? Uh, I know. So he's, he's good. And he, he doesn't talk about things unless he knows I know. inside now. So Definitely. that's good. It'll be interesting. It'll spark a lot. No, I'm, 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 I'm looking forward to it myself, Aye. Frank. <laughs> but, um, so just looking as we're kind of coming up to the end of the podcast, mm-hmm. um, just kind of looking at your legacy, right? Where do you see your legacy? Because you were a huge part in the 80s of that kind of footballer going into that celebrity kind of life. Do you think I'm, that, do you see yourself as that? No, I'm pals with a lot of people. And, um, you know, and I, I was fortunate to meet part of some of the best, you know, Rod and fucking Elton John and George Michael, fucking, <laughs> one of my mates was in, we were in Brown's this night club and all my mates came down girlfriend had run away on a modelling trip so I got <laughs> the boys down right for it <laughs> so we're, we're in Browns and uh, Cathy Lloyd and that was there and we're having a laugh and George and his own tries walked in and I hide in front I said alright and my mate Stevie, Stevie he's, he's sitting he's got fucking all that and Cathy's talking to me and Stevie says oh George fucking fancies you <laughs> Cathy kind of get his eyes and me and her looked and it was the only time but me and her no. we looked at each other and I'm going Steve it's definitely no horse he was looking <laughs> he's like no <laughs> yeah so that was he was shaking himself back against the wall <laughs> <laughs> but it was great to just to have a laugh with him and meet Kylie and I used to come into this club now. Kylie no oh, no oh, she's tiny nice. like is she ah she's tiny I always she's just great, see her like, great fun. she was my favourite growing up Kelly, I love Kelly. Good for her, she was good. But I used to see her more. Like that. Used to see her more. Take that, no, that come in, no, that. You know, it was good. I, I actually, the boys would take that, get us to move, move my table. Did they? Mm. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's some legacy, man. It really is. And uh, your football career, everything, Frank. It's just uh, you. You really have done. You've touched it's a lot of lives, and I've done. I've done a lot of things, and it's. Aye. But it's all, I'm not like, regretting a lot. Regrets are. I know. A bad thing, but it's, you know, it's, um... Of course. Too, life's too short. It is. Mm-hmm. So, see, like, just, like, I always kind of give like, the guests just a wee, because this is, my podcast kind of a lot about social injustice, Aye. stuff like that, mm-hmm. um, and just people that are out there that are maybe struggling with just kind of mental health and how you've got through stuff and how resilient you've been, well, Frank. It's, it's a lot, I mean, what I, what I would advise is now, it's, there's a lot of stuff out there, you know, there's a lot of... There's a lot of people out there. I mean, this the gay thing's another thing, you know. That's fucking been about for years. It's I not know. just the new thing. You know, Justin Fast you God rest him, he was... I know. Everyone knew he was, he was I think gay. there's a lot of players out there that are gay, yeah, like we was, don't know. Everyone knew, but Justin... They're, they're always, see, everyone thinks about the football started with the Premier League. It was fucking way before that. So I know. Everyone knew Justin was a, was a mm-hmm. gay boy. And they'd be They'd be bothered. Right. You know? So I think it's other people getting involved in things, you know, and just... Take a step back. I mean that thing that Brendan said to oh, the girl. Division, isn't there? What a lot of crap, but he says good girl. He's, he's a million and one tapes, good boy. And and he goes away and it's other people that are fucking getting totally. upset about it. Well, get on with your life, life's too short, you know. Aye. There's fucking people dying in Ukraine, people dying in Palestine, no. and you're worrying about somebody say something. <laughs> <laughs> I, just, I, I just think it's uh, that way in the world's gone fucking mad. It's I think, divide and conquer, you know, isn't it? I, 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 I think it's really bad. So, But the mental health problem, I, you know, some of them just, I think, are looking for attention. Right. Um, and it's no doing the, it's no doing the others, the ones that are really needing it. You know, they, that really need the help. And there's, there's help out there, but Aye. listen, if you've if you got any problems, just Speak ask. Speak out, it? You know, just I talk. somebody will be there to help you, mm-hmm. you know. 
No, brilliant. If Listen, you want, if you want to get bored, just get phone me. <laughs> you bang <laughs> a phone. I'll tell you right you and you'll really have problems. <laughs> 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 no, listen, honestly, for an absolute pleasure having you on here, man. Brilliant, Thanks, honestly. Thanks, Frank McAvenny. Thank you. Cheers, mate.